Right then. Right then. We are currently on the Queen Elizabeth, one of the Cunard ships, and we have been surprised a lot, haven't we? We have. And we wanted to talk to you about um, the preconceived ideas that we had, and we know others have, and the reasons why people don't cruise with Cunard. And we just want to, um, well, let you know what our thoughts are. We wanted to put the record straight. Well, we have been totally surprised in many ways, but there's three main things that have really surprised us about Cunard uh, that had previously stopped us from booking. Um, so this video is to show you, actually, if these are what you're thinking too, then... Then you... stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> ah, so the first thing that we get asked all the time is, oh, Cunard, oh my God, too posh, too stuffy. You have to wear a tuxedo to bed. <laughs> to bed <laughs> so you have to wear your tuxedo all the time and i'm not going to go on cunard because it's too strict but well I, but i have been wearing my tuxedo to bed well, I didn't realize. Well, that's a different story probably <laughs> <laughs> no no he doesn't really <coughs> um so we want to just want to talk about dress codes because that is a biggie isn't it with cunard yeah. when you get your bump through um about you're going on a cruise it says about gala nights and um you will expect to have two gala nights on a seven day cruise we're on a 10 day cruise so we've got three and on a 14 you would have four obviously now um it's not called formal nights like on other or dress to impress it's called a gala night and when you actually read the small print on you get a program in your um cabin every day the daily program yes can I have that back, please? Because I wanted to just read what it states on the back. Um, it says the gala evenings, dinner jacket, tuxedo, or dark suit with regular tie or bow tie for gentlemen, evening or cocktail dress, smart trouser suits, or formal separates for ladies. Um, but it just says, guests are welcome to embellish their gala evening and try to fit the applicable theme of the evening. And that's the key, isn't it, with yeah. um, Cunard? It's not about formal nights, it's about themes. Now, we've had... Um, on the previous, we did a four day cruise previously on Queen Elizabeth, which we loved and which we, why we came back. And that had a black and white. And basically you could wear anything. You don't have to wear a tuxedo or a, a cocktail dress or people really go to town, don't they? They do. But some people were just in a black pair of trousers and a, a black shirt, a white shirt. As long as it was a monochrome theme, anything went to They didn't do it. encourage jackets it doesn't have to be a dinner jacket but they do encourage that you you've worn on, a jacket once yes but on the gala nights they do encourage i didn't say they make you no but they do encourage you to wear a jacket well that's what it states yes. isn't yes. it but actually the reality is people wear a whole array. array of different stuff but it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a flowing ball gown that drags the floor and it doesn't have to be a a dinner suit no it doesn't and it's been really lovely seeing everyone making the effort but for example on we had a black and white night we've had a red and gold night because obviously that's cunard's you know pillar box um colors isn't it pillar box you know what i mean with the boys bell boys oh dear and what we wore i wore a red top you wore a red shirt with just some black yes. trousers wasn't yeah. it and it it works. Um, everyone does it slightly differently. We didn't get thrown overboard or nothing, did we? No, and nobody judges. People think that um, Cunard's just full of snobby people, don't they? We've met some fabulous people, and we yeah. haven't come across any snobs, have we? No, not Well, we've heard a few people have got a bit of plum in their mouth, haven't we? Yeah, but that's just because they're posh. It doesn't mean to say... Could, the fact that somebody's posh doesn't make them a snob. No, and that's, and the that's fact that somebody's, true. And the fact that somebody might not be posh doesn't make them a... Yeah. A scuffer, as we call it. <laughs> <laughs> so, smart attire. If you come on Cunard, if you just pack, um, packed smart attire, um, which is the theme for all the rest of the nights, then you can wear anything. Yeah. And it does also state on the... Um, daily program it says relax it says feel free to dress casually as you visit any of the following venues the lider restaurant the golden lion pub the casino cafe corinthia garden lounge and yacht club um and non-ripped je jeans are appropriate but please refrain from wearing shorts sports attire swimwear or sleeveless t-shirts outside of the gym spa and um deck spaces so it's no different really no. from no. other cruise lines so don't let cunard's dress codes put you off because um, or your perception of cunard's dress yeah, codes yeah just um just relax <laughs> 
it's there. Oh, well, relax. Yes. So that's our first thing that's really surprised us, that it's not stuffy, it's not strict, and, you know, you can wear actually whatever you like. Right, so the second thing that really surprised us about Cunard is how affordable it is. Oh, definitely, yeah. We've never looked at Cunard before because we thought, oh, not in our budget, too posh, too expensive, it's but almost actually... Like a, it's almost like we had a preconception about it, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> Which is not true. We paid for this cruise um, £71 per day for a balcony guaranteed cabin. Um, which actually is is fantastic value. We could have gotten inside actually for fifty one pounds, yeah. but we like to have a balcony. So, but that shows how getting on a Cunard ship, how cheap it can yes. be. But that is obviously your basic fare. That's not drinks. That's not gratuities, and that's not Wi Fi. Then what you do about M three is entirely up to you. Yes, exactly. But we'll touch on that now. Yeah, well, drinks we talk about yeah. because drinks aren't cheap, um, and they have fifteen percent um, charge on top. I will put a link in the description below. We've done a full, a comprehensive post on our website about QNR drinks prices, so make sure you check that out after this video. And it's the most um, up to date, currently available drinks price post that you will see anywhere on the interweb. <laughs> That's because I did it. Ah, I don't he do does very, like I to don't, show off. I don't do very much, so I have to show <laughs> off about that one. But anyway, so for example, like we have a glass, a glass, a small glass of Vignon Blanc, and you have a Thatcher's Gold Cider, and it comes to seventeen dollars. Yes. So in pounds, that's what about fourteen and a half, fourteen pounds. So it's it is London prices, really, yeah. isn't it? Is it? They they do say. I don't know why they. That's one thing. I'm off on a tangent. When you try and find out off Cunard what a drink costs they say oh our drinks are comparable to the prices of um of, of london of london but where in london not weatherspoons you know not weatherspoons <laughs> no so i don't uh, know why they just don't say yeah it's eight quid for yeah. this or it's ten quid for that they seem to be sort of this veil of secrecy yeah but obviously because we've now done a few cruises with them and we've had access to to the bar menus yeah we know how much everything yeah. costs and, and actually it's, it's fine isn't it's it fine. it's comparable with other <coughs> uh, cruise lines um so yeah so affordability um with with cunard is is a, a big thing that we did not know we thought it was totally out of our budget oh, we and we've been keeping a tab on what we've been spending and we're spending just under a hundred dollars a day aren't we so about £75 per day. So it's £75, £80 a day, which, um, to put it into perspective, um, P&O's drinks package is £40 a day. And, yeah. And it's not comprehensive at all. No. Not as very, yeah. you know, that's another story. But, yes. So, We've got a P&O drinks yeah. package yeah, and information yeah. as well. Did I do that one? You did. <laughs> But anyway, anyway, we digress. Yes. But in comparison to affordability, um, for example, we've cruised with Saga uh, only a month ago, um, and that was uh, £200 a night. We've cruised with, actually, Royal Caribbean in, um, for my birthday, and that was actually £250 yeah. per night per person. Per person. That's, yeah. And if you think about Cunard now, we, with what we paid and what we spent, we're looking at about £150 um, yes. a night, aren't we? And even if we chose to do the drinks package, which is $70 as near as, 69 something, yeah. which is 50 quid or whatever it is, it's, it would still be substantially cheaper than Saga, yeah. Royal Caribbean, prob P and O would stuff well, like we'd have to weigh yeah, we'd have to weigh out. I think P and O would but, be um, less. Yeah. But anyway, so just I don't think that you can't afford QNR because actually there are um fares to be had. Obviously if you want to go with the Queen's Grill and stuff, that's way out of our budget. Um there's a an you know that's an option for if you wanted to do something special but for us it's been perfect hasn't it paul so if you didn't want to mix with the likes of us you could go in the queen's grill and you never have to see us <laughs> we're like the poor little people in titanic just you know that nobody sees <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god so um yes so affordability cunard is far more affordable than you think right then, then. <laughs> So, we've talked about dress codes, we've talked about affordability. The next thing we want to talk about is entertainment. Now, 
my thought well and your thoughts before was we're gonna go on cunard there's just the two of us we're gonna have just early nights and it's gonna be very sedate and it's gonna be a totally chilled out cruise um and how wrong are we it's <laughs> uh, don't you think that poorly you know, i was I was still germinating a thought there, but I didn't Germinating? Yeah, it was germinating, but it took too long. It's not... We were totally wrong. Like the, the level... For, firstly, the entertainment that is on offer is very, very good. No mistake about that whatsoever. But it's not just the standard of the entertainment, it's the amount of the entertainment that's also available. That You know, you get your normal... You know, every every cruise we've ever been on, they'll have a pianist or um, a string quartet or or that sort of thing in the atrium area, and and Cunard is no exception. And the standards, as you would expect, is fantastic. But entertainment venues, they've got the Queen's with, room. With there's seven. Yeah. There's Qu seven. Sorry, Paul. There's seven areas or lounges where there's entertainment in the evening every, every night. day. <laughs> Everything. So start with the theatre. So we've seen um, two production shows, which was absolutely, which were fantastic. The greatest Showman finished last night. Yeah, that was was superb. Amazing. Um, they also have guest entertainment. We've had a, a singer that's just toured with Generally James. Who was just fantastic. Who just toured with Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. That's a bloke Wolverine. Um, we've had um, a violin duo called Electra. Yeah, that was superb. Up. They were absolutely amazing. Yeah. Uh, we didn't go and see. There was a comedian on, but we didn't go and see him because we were far too busy somewhere else. Um, and th we've still got a few days to go. So you know, I'm sure we'll be adding to that list. Hopefully, there'll be another production show because I have to say, the standard of the entertainment in the production team is it was superb. It's right, right up there with the best we've seen. It was all because when we did our four day cruise, we only seen one show that was called um, putting put on the Ritz, <laughs> putting on the Ritz, <laughs> which we did feel was a bit dated. Yeah. Um, but actually, um, now we've seen more with the theatre team. Um, they are so talented, yeah. aren't they, Paul? Yes. Um, so then the theatre is um, digressing a little bit now. The theatre's got boxes. Um, we're doing a full review view and tour and opinion of the whole ship so i'll put a link in here about that because that's one thing isn't it you know, to sit in a box um, at a theater which we've never done that was a little treat too wasn't it yes. anyway back to the entertainment you've got the golden lion pub um you've got the uh, yacht club you've got the commodore club you've got um queen's room, queen's room. oh the queen's room is just it's just the most amazing beautiful room ballroom it's a ballroom and what i love about it is the first time if you've not been on Cunard and you go to the Queen's River for some entertainment, you will sit there literally in awe of how well every, the passengers can dance. It's like yes. fair play. There's, they, there's some seriously good dancers. Yeah. But don't let that put you off. Yeah. Because you can still get up there. You can still do your thing. If you don't want to do a wash, you can just, you know, wobble along. You can do whatever <laughs> you want. Wobble along. Is that what we well, do? Well, that's what we do, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> and yeah, you know everything's true. acceptable. It is. And in the Queen's Room, they've usually got an orchestra or a big band, which is amazing. But they do have some of the duos or sometimes yeah, a little band. It's in there. been amazing. But every night is great. Yeah. So trouble is because we've stopped on it, but it is amazing. But so we've got Queen's Room, Pub, Garden Lounge, Com Commodore Club, Yacht Club, Atrium. <laughs> there's one more. Grand Lobby is not an atrium. Oh, Grand, Grand Lobby. Lobby. There's, there's one more. No, what's the other one? I'm trying to think. Oh, mm. oh, I can't think what it is. Theatre. Oh, yeah, theatre. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, seven places yeah. where there's live entertainment every single night. And we thought, right, it's midnight, the entertainment's all done, but we fancy another drink. Yacht Club turns into a disco, and we thought, well, nobody will be at the disco on Cunard. Yeah. It was packed. Yeah, we couldn't get a seat. <laughs> we couldn't get a seat. We had to go to bed with, the t with our tails between <laughs> our legs because we were too uh, late to get to the disco. So if you're thinking that Cunard is stuffy, boring, um, you're not going to have anything to do in the evenings, then think again. Think again. We were yes. so wrong. We've loved our time on uh, Cunard. Um, we know that we'll be cruising with Cunard again. As I mentioned, we, we're going to put a full review of the ship um, and t give you yeah. a full tour around. We've cruised just before Christmas, which has been um, an added bonus because the decorations around the oh, ship are just... It's just stunning. Uh, and come on, Cunard, you walk in, <coughs> you think you're coming to... Uh, 
a cruise ship from a different era. It has that feel. Does it make me all go goosey just thinking it's, about it? Um, it's think the ships, the ships are what they've managed to do, which I've said before. Um, the ship's actually 11 years old now, but they've made it look like, <coughs> excuse me, like it's like a hundred years old, yeah, but in a good way, but in a modern ev way. Everything it just looks classy and yeah, it just. Oozes, oozes class. class but it's so relaxed yeah. and you know and what, what we've all the points that we've said in this is video so don't discount cunard um have a you know we we're so glad that we thought you know let's just try it for that four day yeah. well, um we, I, i'll be honest i said i think of this go around my head at the minute i think a lot of people would think about cunard because of the preconceptions which hopefully we've straightened out for you now as like a special treat that maybe you can only ever afford once in a lifetime or yeah. once in a blue moon or whatever but the reality is it's not you can afford to do it just as probably it's just as much as another as a lot of mainstream yeah. cruises that are out there yeah and, and we know that we'll be doing it again oh, definitely yeah. i tried to talk poorly and they do a 28 day cruise where you go from southampton new york caribbean new york southampton <laughs> but one of us is retired and one of us has got a business to run so yes true anyway we digress again so hopefully we find this um video useful hopefully you will consider cunard in the future and if you see us on board make sure you say hi Thank for more cruising videos from paul and carol love to travel why not watch this video now